everybody welcome back to my channel today I am going to do a story time and this is a collab with V loves collab um, it is with Monica Nordman and Veronica Ney so I will link the playlist down below of everybody's um, videos if you wanted to go check them out Today's story time is my mental health story. So, I don't really have too much of a story. You know, like I didn't have a lifetime of mental illness. It doesn't really run in my family. I was always a very happy girl. Um, my best friend growing up, her mom and dad called me Bubbles. Still to this day, call me Bubbles. So, I mean, always happy. Um, in my 30s, I went through a divorce. It was kind of rough and kind of went through a bout of, dis of depression. So, in, so four years ago, my son, my oldest son graduated high school. I got, I was, when I started this channel, it was just called Tina's Coupon Swap. I did um, couponing and I showed people how to do it. I did classes. I ran a coupon train, um, which was through snail mail. I just got really stressed out. My son was graduating high school. I had to throw him a graduation party. This was all in a span. I thought I did everything right. Like, I started, you know you know getting the food with coupons you know six months in advance and all the paper plates and um, cups and silverware my mom um, purchased for me so and she helped me make you know the food and my sister-in-law did the cake but just the pressure of everything on top of everything um, I wasn't on any kind of medication or anything. I did see a therapist, but I didn't really talk too much. I just wasn't ready to talk about anything. So it all just kind of piled up and piled up and piled up. And in a matter of about two months, I lost about 80 pounds. I got down to about 100 pounds. I'm 5'8", so that's very unhealthy. And April 28th of, what, 2012, so five years ago? No, it might have been 13. It was probably 2013. No, he graduated in 2012. So 2012, so yeah, five years ago. So April 28th, I was standing in my kitchen. Um, now, me and my husband would always mess around and like I would just be standing there and I would pretend like to pass out or faint or, you know, to see if he would catch me. And of course he always did, but... Um, so I was in my kitchen and I had my phone on my microwave stand and I was texting. I felt like I needed to sit down so I, I remember turning around to see because my table, my kitchen table and my chairs were right behind me. I was kind of leaning up against the chair that was pushed into the table. I went to turn around to go pull the chair out and the next thing I remember is I was across the room on the floor uh, waking up from a seizure. I had a four minute grand mal seizure standing in my kitchen with all four of my boys. When I woke up, the first thing I saw was my four boys and all four boys were crying and my husband was leaning over me screaming Tina 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 you know and if you've ever had a seizure and it's I've passed out and I've had a seizure and I've 
obviously come to from both, and it's not the same. It is so not the same. Uh, when you pass out, you kind of pass out and come to, and you know you're you're normal. When you come to from a seizure, you absolutely have no idea, especially the first time. I had never had one. I've never had anything like that before. Like, first of all, my jaw was clenched, so I would, I couldn't open my jaw. I didn't I didn't know why I couldn't talk. I couldn't. I was just like this, and I was shaking, and. You know, I had my boys crying, and I didn't know why, and they're, you know, my oldest was screaming, Mom, you know, and my my husband was screaming, Tina, and I, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what happened. I didn't know why I was on the floor. I didn't know I was, I like, trying to ask, like, what happened? So I tried to sit up. I couldn't really sit up, like, my whole whole body felt like I was hit by a semi truck. I was so sore and I was not like that five minutes ago. So, I mean, I had no idea. My husband said I had a seizure. I was, you know, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I've, I went and searched it on YouTube and watched people have grandma seizures and I have no idea. I went to the doctor, had a CAT scan or an MRI, I don't remember which one, but they confirmed I had a almost four minutes, it was like a three minute and 58 second grand mal seizure and they don't really know why, they just kind of contributed it to stress. I haven't ever had another one. Um, so I still, I never really regained my weight back, which was okay by me. I'm healthy now, <laughs> but I still weigh way under what I should weigh. Um, <clears throat> stress, I don't know, more kind of maintained. I do yoga, I do, you know, a little bit of exercising when I can, other than that, um, I can I, I'm a mom, so I mean, I am constantly on the move, but it's one of the questions I get a lot, you know, people think that, you know, like fat shaming is, you know, horrible, which it is, I mean, but people out there, they skinny shame too, and it hurts just as bad, and it's something that I really can't help, I've been this way my whole life. So if you ever see somebody that's really skinny and you can see their bones, don't tell them to go eat a cheeseburger. It does not help with their mental status. Because, you know, like, <clears throat> none of my clothes fit. Um, I have really long legs, which has been a problem my whole life. Either my pants fit around my waist and they're too short or I get them too long and always have to wear a belt and then they look stupid because they got that little flap in the front because you got them so tight you know um, so you know all that contributes to mental mental health there is such thing as um, skinny shaming um, telling someone to eat uh, that you look like a bean pole. It's, it's not nice. Don't do that. All right. Well, there's kind of my mental health status. It's about the only really mental health issue that I've really dealt with besides depression. And that really was just trying to deal with my divorce and everything that I went through. So, I don't know. Stress. Stress is a killer. It. I believe is like on the top three I think stress especially in women um, is a killer so try to deal with your things don't let them for everything pile up you know if you get stressed out say no that was my problem I didn't know how to say no I said yes to everything so I've learned to say no I've learned to 
uh, know my body when I feel like I'm getting stressed or tired I, I, I stop I don't ever want to go through or put my family through what I went through ever because it was the scariest thing ever and if you've never seen anybody have a seizure you there's tons of people on YouTube that have recorded themselves having a seizure go watch it. it's scary all right well my advice don't let everything stress you out don't let anything stress you out if something's stressing you out get rid of it uh, put it down at the bottom of the list like don't think about it just let it deal with it uh, that's my only my only advice if you like it give me a thumbs up you guys have a wonderful day subscribe if you are not and check out some of my reviews if you want all right you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you on my next review bye